Hey guys, um, so today we're just going to do a short um, introduction to our 1892 hand cream because I know a lot of you have been looking forward to this. Let me just pull this up quick uh, so I can answer questions if questions come. We're not going to do too long of a um, Facebook Live today just because um, obviously it wasn't planned. <laughs> um, but if you guys have questions, we can um, get them answered. And I think we are up and running. Wasn't planned. <laughs> okay. Um, so I wanted to introduce you guys to our new hand cream. And I even flipped the um, video around this time so you guys can see what it looks like. So this is the new hand cream. And it's very different because we don't actually see like hand creams or body lotions um, in the original recipes. This was kind of the first specific recipe that I saw for hand cream. And so I thought we should definitely um, reproduce it and see what you guys think about it. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the original recipe, what it was used for, and how you guys should use it. Um, so the original recipe came from the 1892 um, with the, I do, the manuscript that I have was translated from French and it's called, uh, the woman's sanctum care of body advice of recipes, guidance for the obese and the thin little hints and 21 pages of advertisements. Um, so the advertisements are kind of fun. Um, okay. So, so this, uh, is an area that specifically talks about the hands and this is what the original recipe says anoint the chapped parts every night with a mixture if it is the hands that are affected wear gloves if it is any other part of the body cover it with a towel so this is going to be different than like if you're thinking about um um like like body lotion or like um hand lotion you know this isn't really like a cold cream type of thing it's different than that so if you're really looking for like an all-over body lotion, I would suggest to look at the cold creams in our shop. Um, this, hi Kira. <laughs> this is, um, <laughs> this one is gonna be really great for winter. If you're familiar with um, the camphor ice in our shop, which is excellent for winter for uh, dry chapped hands. Do you approve, Kira? <laughs> for um, dry chapped hands. This is kind of like it, this is for um, hands that have have dry or open sores on them from winter and um, this actually has um, zinc oxide in it so when you let's see this is the are you gonna stay up here hi Nina <laughs> I have the here we go okay so um, when you open it it is a metal tube just like the original ones were. Um, we actually, this was like a brand new venture for us. It told you to put it in a metal tube. So I was really excited because we got to like delve into the whole original metal tubes. Um, we had to like learn how to crimp them and everything. And um, yes, Lindsay, we did add scent to it. So the original recipe wanted you to add bergamot to it. And so that is what we added. So if you're not familiar with bergamot, it's um it's like a nice citrusy, um, herby smell to it. And uh, bergamot is great for, you know, um, guys, girls, everybody loves it. It's kind of a unisex uh, scent to it. Um, so that is what it is scented with. If you look at it, let's see, I don't know if I can actually like, can you see that? I'm going to squeeze a little bit of it out. So it kind of reminds me of... Um, let's see, will it focus on it? There you go. See how white it is? That is because of the zinc oxide. And so if you're familiar with zinc oxide, it's actually really good. Like, like our body needs zinc. And if we don't have enough zinc, you know, we like lose our appetite. There's other things that can happen. So um, zinc oxide is actually really good for the body. And it also helps with um, like preventing sun. I mean, a lot of times it's in your sunscreen. So it's white. <laughs> okay. So the zinc oxide makes it white. It's not like the cold creams, you know, that like look white in the containers and then they're clear. No, this is actually white. So see that? 
So when you rub it in, when you rub it in, you have to rub it in really well. And so what the zinc oxide does is it stays on top of your skin. Yeah, <laughs> diaper paste. Yep, exactly. Desitin. It kind of has that consistency too of desitin. Um, and that's what Patrick was, that's what Patrick first told me was, this, this reminds me of desitin. But um, it actually, we've been using it for a while now just to, to test it all out. And it works really well, um, especially for the winter, because the that, that zinc, it stays on top of your skin. And it actually like, <clears throat> like this, this right here, this was a sliver and that I pulled out. And so now it's trying to heal and it's, it's really good for open wounds. And so, you know, like, like diaper rashes. I mean, that's why zinc oxide is in, um, the, the diaper stuff because it, it helps with, uh, topical skin issues. And so, <laughs> so even though this says hand cream and it is, it's definitely a hand cream. It'll help, um, keep your hands soft in the winter. Uh, it's for any sort of areas that are like like really chapped and cracking and you know so um, I think it goes past the hand creams a little bit uh, and it also does have um, uh, cocoa cocoa butter in it so when you smell it you're gonna get you're gonna get that like um, some people call it chocolate chocolate smell and bergamot mixed together. Um, so if you like that, like chocolatey, kind of like, uh, I'm trying to think which, um, the, like the tinted lip balm, the, the hard tinted lip balm, uh, that we have in the shop from, um, 1772, that one has, uh, cocoa butter in it too. So it kind of has that chocolatey cocoa smell to it. So we mix that with bergamot and then you guys will kind of know what this smells like. Um, and so it's really adorable. This is done exactly like the originals. Like we, we hand crimped them ourselves. They are metal. The, the bottles, tubes are metal. And, um, I am going to get these guys up in the shop today, hopefully. So if you guys have any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Um, I just thought I would introduce you guys a little bit to this brand new product because I want to make sure you guys understand um, it's not going to be like your body lotions, <laughs> okay? It's like a hand cream. And, you know, when you think about, like, um, the Victorians, they, they, they wanted their skins, their skins, their skin to be pale and, um, you know, beautifully white. And so I, I tested this on my face, and, like, it actually kind of does make your skin a little paler. <laughs> so it gives it this, like, nice, like, shimmery, um, a paleness to it. I thought it was kind of like a little, like when the light hit, it was kind of sparkly. It was pretty, pretty awesome. But I could totally see, you know, other than medicinal purposes, obviously to help heal skin and, um, sore chap skin and, and, you know, cuts and stuff and, and dry, uh, skin. I can see why they would put the zinc oxide into the product because it, it's pretty beautiful. You know, if you want to put it on your hands and it kind of whitens your hands just a little bit, <laughs> as you rub it in so um yeah I wanted to show you oh yeah so this is what I found really interesting about this it talks about putting it into um the tubes right so I don't know if you guys can see this okay Let's see if I can focus on it a little bit better this is the exact original recipe right here and then this is when I had to take the recipe and I had to everything is still original in the recipe I just had to adjust the amounts of like almond oil in the recipe because if you see this, see that? I mean, I'm pushing like really hard and I can hardly, my finger hardly wants to um, push down in it. And so I'm not really sure like how they actually got it out of the tube with that recipe. Um, it was just way too hard. So I, so this is the, this is the, ah, fixed recipe right here. And I added a little bit of extra um, almond oil. So the recipe is still the same, um, but we had to be able to get it out of the tube. So I didn't really have a choice <laughs> in the matter. Um, but if you can see this one, see how nice that one is. So, so that's just a really nice cream where this one, <laughs> I love original recipes, but like sometimes, I don't know, unless they had like super stellar metal tubes that, I, I don't know. Just kind of kind of odd, but um, 
Yeah, so this was the original one, just way too hard. We couldn't get it out of the tube when we tried. We actually ended up popping the back of the tube open from the crimp. So that wasn't good. So we um, we added the, the almond oil, a little bit extra almond oil, and um, we're good to go. So the recipe is still the same. If if any apothecary would be making that recipe historically, oh, the sums out, um, they would have had the liberty to change it at will too. So just because, uh, and this is something I stress, like, some people get frustrated if I have to add something into the recipe, um, but historically the apothecary would have done the same exact thing. If they tested the recipe and they realized they couldn't get it out of the tube, they would have had to look at that recipe again and see what in that recipe they could uh, make an addition to to make it come out of the tube. So it's still very historical, you know, don't worry, you're still getting a very historical product. I haven't changed anything, I just added a little bit of extra almond oil. Uh, so, do you guys have any questions about this? I mean, I'm more than happy to answer them. I know maybe you'll come up with some later and we can answer them later, uh, but I thought now would maybe be a good time. <laughs> So if you guys don't have any questions, um, that's cool. Uh, if you do, write them down and I will take a look at them and I will answer them. And I know we've been getting some emails. The sun is really bright. I know we've been getting some emails um, and people have been kind of waiting. They have their carts full and they've been waiting and um, they're wondering when this is gonna be up. So uh, we actually have <laughs> employees coming in today to work and so hopefully I'll have a little bit of free time and I will get it up for you. Um, Lindsay asks if this is something we're going to stock regularly. I would love to. Um, I think, you know, it's going to be something like the camphor ice where the camphor ice is something that's in our shop and it's kind of overlooked until the winter comes. Um, but the camphor ice is, is absolutely amazing for all sorts of, of skin problems. And so this may be something like it where, um, you know, you may not see it very much in the summer, in the summer months because it might sell better in the fall and winter. Uh, but it's really up to you guys. And if you're not familiar with how our apothecary works, um, you guys are kind of the ones who decide what stays and what, what goes. I mean, we, we decide on the recipes. It's so bright outside. Um, we decide on the recipes, we make them, and then you guys decide if you like them or not. And if you like them, we will definitely keep them in the shop. Um, some of the historical recipes, it also depends on the ingredients. I know like we've been getting questions about the um, Martha Washington spray for shirts. Um, we have a lot of limited edition stuff and that's only because we don't know if we can actually get the ingredients for it again or if you guys will like it. So if you like it, definitely let us know so we can keep it in. Okay. Um, as of right now, I think this first batch made um, probably like 40 of these little guys. So. Uh, hopefully they will be popular. They would make really great stocking stuffers for um, the holiday season. Um, and, you know, even for like <laughs> for like your older family members, it brings back memories. We get so many emails like every day where um, I can't I can't be in the sun. I'm going to like turn you guys just a little bit here. And um, I guess not. Sorry, guys. It's just going to be in the sun. The kitchen is very sunny. Um, okay, so we get a lot of uh, questions every day about, you know, how it, it reminded, you know, somebody of their grandmother or their great grandmother. And so if you're looking for a gift for those grandmas or great grandmas, you know, check out our cold creams and, and check out our hand lotions because chances are it will remind them of their youth and what they had back then. And um, we just love reading those emails. So um, I think that's probably it. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have much more to say um, other than we're going to get this in the shop soon. And, you know, if you're going to wear it, if, you, if you're going to wear it, it will give you some protection from the sun. But I cannot guarantee that, like, you know, we don't know what the amount of, of, of like SPF is. So um, we can't guarantee how much protection it will give you, but it is a nice kind of natural sunscreen um, way to protect you if you don't want to like slather on all like the chemical sunscreens and stuff. 
Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. We have other new things in the shop, um, including some 1930s nail cream and some uh, curling, curling liquid for papers. And hopefully we'll go over all of that stuff. Um, right now it's kind of crazy. We have other things up to like um, uh, baskets and uh, vintage, um, various vintage like hair items and stuff like that. So definitely check that all out and uh, we will keep you guys updated <laughs> as best as possible when I'm not like running around um, like a crazy woman over here. But as you guys prep for like your holiday seasons, I hope everyone's safe traveling for Turkey Day because the big week's coming up. And for everyone else, you know, stay tuned. We'll keep you posted. And um, we have some pretty awesome things coming. So thanks, guys.